Now we'll go through the four potentiometers related to the rear linkage. With the first potentiometer from the left, you adjust lowering speed of the rear linkage. A large number indicates a fast lowering speed and a small number indicates a slow lowering speed. The weight of the implement fitted to the rear linkage will have no effect on the lowering speed, but the position of the potentiometer will. The second potentiometer adjusts the maximum lifting height of the rear linkage. You can adjust the maximum height when you don't need an implement fully up, like a plow, when using the auto control rear linkage rocker switch. The third potentiometer is to adjust the draft control. When draft sensing is not used, keep the dial in the P position. By turning the dial, you increase the sensitivity of the draft control, and the draft control will be done via the lower link arms. The last potentiometer, the first step, is called drive balance control. For example, with a heavy plow, this feature gives flexibility to the lower link arms and saves the tractor's rear linkage from shock loading. The next position in the potentiometer are both drive balance control and slip control. In the last position, only slip control is on. In the first setting, draft control is only in use when the lower link arms are in the transport position which means that auto control rocker switch is in the lifting position. This is the place for the on off valve, which can be used with a hydraulic top link. This rocker switch adjusts the height of the lower link arms. It should be remembered that when it is used, the button needs to be pressed long enough so that the lift arms begin to move. 